Hey, so you want to give you an update on the booth here? And sure. How we're doing? Yeah. Okay. Hi, I'm Eric, WA6HHQ at Outlet Craft, and we're just starting the show here in Huntsville, Alabama. So before the crowd gets in, hopefully we won't get mobbed while we're talking here. But right. Move closer to his we mouth, Chuck. We got here. Just give you an update on our latest stuff. Okay, I'll talk closer to the mic there. Um, first of all, just in the middle here, we've got our K4 radios. Um, I've got a little 14-inch tablet monitor for an external HDMI monitor on it also on top here. Nice. The, um, the thing guys. on this is, oh, yeah, I'll be a direct sampling, you know, super high-performance receiver, SDR, uh, and transmit and receive, and uh, it's our premier radio out there. Getting used on D-Expeditions now. We're actually going oh, on nice. the uh, 3D2X Rotuma D-Expedition in November. They'll actually have one you can remote into over Starlink that you'll be able to actually, uh, mostly for uh, use on the air, we'll be able to be DX. Um, expedition operators remotely from like in the U.S. They oh, can awesome. operate a K4 remotely. And actually what I'm doing right now is I'm controlling my home station right now. This is this K4 is just acting as a terminal. There's no, uh, I, I put it into a mode where I can connect to my home station. And basically I'll disconnect right now. We have a little dialogue that comes up here and I'll disconnect. I can pick different stations from a list that I've either saved on here or if it's on a local network, you know, that are on the same network. So if I want to connect to my station, I literally just hit this little button right here. Oh, I'm sorry, wrong one there. Hit the connect button. And now I'm getting my signals from California. Oh, nice. So you guys are pretty easy to connect. Morning. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's cool. And that's actually, I'm over over internet going all the way back to California right now. Real time, pan adapter, everything coming in at all. It's all, I can, you know, tune signals, tune the station. Listen, see what that guy's dialing in here. And you're yeah, also we, able to configure stuff up here different than down here. Too, oh, yeah. Right? Yeah, we have it. This one's mimicking it here. Right. If you look on this screen here, we've got a whole separate pan adapter showing the CW band. Gotcha. And I'm watching the side band, band here. So this is a 40 meter or a, a 40 meter CW over here on this. And we got 20 meter side band on that. Nice. And that's coming directly in the antenna input on this one. So you can, you can see them both going. Okay. So K4s are very flexible. You can do remote with them. And we're also just coming out. Uh, with a K40, this is a nice portable. Let me turn down the speaker so we don't have to listen to the radios. So this is a, a radio all on itself. It's not a radio. It's actually doing the same thing this can do okay. without the radio. So this is a, like a remote control panel. You can take on the road in a small padded bag. You can see it's quite small. It has I/O in the back. You know, for Ethernet, uh, you can put a Wi-Fi dongle into it. Uh, USB, uh, you know. Devices, the, the whole interface, the same thing we have on the K4, That's basically. Cool. Built in sound card, you can put your laptop into it for logging, and it thinks it's talking locally, but it's actually talking to the remote K4 right. that's halfway across the country. Same thing when you're using a K4 to K4. Any K4, just standard, can control another one. And you can run, it looks like you're running off an of iPad too. Yeah, we have a new software app where this is now going through final development. And actually, this has got all sorts of new stuff. We can tune now touch screen on here. You can see me tune the frequency or I can use an external USB K-Pod, we call it, for tuning. But this is sideband CW, we got all that working. It's called Virtual K4, that's why it says VK4. It's not in Australia, it's actually right. here. But I'm, this is actually connected to the same, my home station in California as that is. And there's also an Apple uh, Mac app now that we've got, not us developing, but uh, Marcus over in Germany, who's done a lot of the apps for ICOM and, and Flex and so on with so his that's stuff. That's all Apple based. Uh, that's Apple based here. So that's a Mac version of doing the same. It's all looking at the same radios. We have one, two, three radios all hooked into my home station at the same time right now. That's so you can good. have your buddies cool. listening to you as you work DX, so you can take turns. And <laughs> your buddy has the big antenna. You can take your K4 and connect to his K4. Right. Um, other than that, we've got, uh, of course, the KPA 500, KPA 1500 over there on the far side of the booth. I'll just sort of walk over here. If you can get through the crowd. We can we can poke over the shoulder here. Here's the KPA fifteen hundred. Excuse me. Here we're just going to take a picture of it real quick. There we go. And the, so there's a fifteen hundred. And to its right is the KPA five hundred with our also our uh, auto tuner. We actually sell those also as a package. All the auto The cat five hundred tuners are awesome. Fully automatic. They all work the same algorithm as our all of our tuners. So like the KX two one. Exactly. Oh, wow. Even more powerful in terms of matching range. And then we've got our over here our newest little radio. You can see him in front of uh, Scott here, handheld KH one, and that's a CW portable, both pedestrian portable and actually as you're walking around. Yeah, actually, I want one of those. Wayne, when you guys brought them out. Oh, fantastic! Yeah, so I, I want to go with all the to details. Work. But you know, built-in memory here, built-in you can yes. plug in your paddles or the ones we. we so that's like the ultimate if you if you do yep. CW. And of course, all modes, C, the KX2 and the KX3 are, are still major products. There's my for favorite us one for sodas, guys. Oh right yeah, there. no, that's just that's got the whole thing in one package there. And there's the without the paddles. 
and this is our KXPA 100 watt amplifier, which works with any radio, not just ours. Right. And it'll uh, it'll has a frequency counter. If you have the auto tuner option, it'll automatically follow you everywhere and remember your last okay, tune. Okay. They do have a pan adapter. Yeah, also that's the PX3 for it goes with the KX3. The KX3 has an IQ output to drive pan adapters. That adapter. won't work on this. Uh, KX2, no, it's TX2 is scaled down, obviously, to make it smaller. Same architecture as the KX3, but we took off six meters and 160. And we, you know, obviously simplified it a lot to fit it in a smaller package. That's lithium ion battery inside, AX1 portable antenna here, and so on. So we, we've uh, we've covered sort of everything from the soda and portable side yeah, up to yeah. full, full 1500 watt. I home really station. appreciate it, Eric. And uh, okay. maybe we get one of these times we get you and Wayne on the show. Get us together in one time. That'd be that'd be, that'd be tough though, huh? All right. Thanks All right. a lot. Thanks a lot. Have a good day. All right, guys. So.